day of emotional contrast, screaming crowds cheering their musical idols. This is System of a Down performing in Yerevan, Armenia's Republic Square. Serge Tankian is lead singer. They're Armenians from the U.S. and there's a message in the music loud and clear. A call for justice, a plea for the world to remember the one and a half million Armenians murdered by the Ottoman Turks 100 years ago. It's something the Turks have yet to acknowledge to this day. At Holy Etchmiadzin, the seat of the Armenian Apostolic Church, the martyrs are canonized. His Holiness Karakin II recognizes their sacrifices. The recognition is everywhere in Armenia and neighboring Karapakh or Artsakh. In schools, in store windows, the forget-me-not genocide symbol is all around. It's a long trip from Fresno. Very long trip. It's what drew Fresno resident Rafi Pilavjian and his nine-year-old son Duro to the homeland. There isn't a day that goes by, even at home, even during throughout the whole year. I don't, there's not a week that I don't think about the genocide. You know, that's something uh, that was instilled in me from my grandmother and my parents, you know, and uh, we shouldn't forget. I'm very glad that my dad brought me here to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide. Oakland photojournalist Wayne Saroyan is touring Armenia for the first time with his family in his thoughts. My father's father, his family, both of his parents and six of his siblings were all slaughtered by the Turks. It's an emotional journey. I am honored and blessed to be a part of it in, in my own little way. As, as an Armenian, as a writer and a photographer. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like it's my duty to be here. Multiple contrasts and emotions, but the message from Armenia is the same, remember and demand. Reporting from Armenia, Stephanie Berugian, KC24, local news that matters.